Burley So. Hello everybody and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host Purified and today we've got something in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day. It's a quick video on how to make a four leaf clover using the shape tool in SoArt. So this is where you can find the shape tool right towards the right side of your toolbar and you go ahead and click it and then on the right side of the workspace you can see several different shapes to choose from. They're scalable, you can rotate them uh, different degrees and all we're going to do is basically we're going to add four hearts and that's how we're going to make our clover. And the way you do it is just get the, you know, I'm going to go at 90 degree angles on this particular design. You can go ahead and switch it up, try it different ways, whatever way you like. But I'm going to turn this first one on its side. And then to get that one to stay and make it permanent part of the picture, you're going to go ahead and just click off of the shape tool. And then we're going to click on it again to bring it back up and we're going to add another heart by clicking on it over here on the right and you can see it just brought it right over and we're going to take this one and because it was set at 90 degrees it's still the same so we're going to go ahead and turn it back so that it's facing upright and i'm going to go ahead and move it so that it fits in to make our four leaf clover and it's a lucky clover so we're going four leaves so we're going to click off again and here let me zoom in and make it bit bigger for you and just move it around to your to your comfortable with where it is and you can always do a little editing at the end and that's what we're going to do to kind of make it look a little bit more uh, cloverish the way we want it and click off click on we'll go ahead and select another heart and now we'll add this one and we'll rotate it the other direction make our right side of our four leaf clover and we'll just move this over to where it fits and once we're happy with that we'll click on the shape tool one more time to stick it in place now that now that these are in place like this after you've set them by clicking off the shape tool you can't move them around independently anymore they become part of the picture so you want to keep that in mind when you're working and finally, we'll add our fourth leaf of our clover on the bottom. And you can see that it has a negative 180 degree value on it. We've got that. And that's just because I was clicking the down. Whichever way you're going to rotate, you'll be able to figure that out. But now you can go ahead and fill these in with our drawing tools that we've shown in the other videos. I'm going to make this a lighter color green and we'll make this a darker color green with our fill tool and we'll go grab one of our drawing tools, the paintbrush. I'm gonna make the line a little bit wider and then we'll keep that the same color as the interior, interior of our leaf and we'll draw the stem. And really, I mean, that's it. From here you can kind of run with it yourself, but um, I'm they look kind of hardish to me and I like the way that the area of the stem there is kind of filled in. With the leaves so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select the pencil tool and we'll match the color the light color and we'll just bring these gaps and kind of fill them in we'll get a little bit more stitch out of, out of it and then it'll also look I think a little bit more like a clover and you can perfect this I'm I, literally this took me 10 minutes so I mean, that gives you an idea of how creative you can be um, to add some really neat embroidery designs um, using the different tools and so art. And I, I want the interior a little bit bigger, a little less heart looking. So I'm gonna fill in the dip here all the way around. And then you could go ahead if you wanted to and extend them in towards the middle of the clover to get a little bit more of that uh, green look, a little bit more leafy look to it. But it's, it's, it's pretty simple as you can see. So now we'll just go finish up and I think I'm going to go ahead and do what I, what I mentioned earlier. I'm going to make these a little bit more um, detailed, I guess. 
and bring them closer towards the center. And you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever colors you want. Um, but this is a simple way, I think, to make a four leaf clover. And then the next step we're gonna do once you're happy with it is basically just stitch it out. You can use different types of stitches from the drop down. Uh, I'm just gonna use for this example, I'm just gonna use the regular default stitch number 19. Uh, the one thing that I am gonna change up, and I'll show you that in a second here after I'm done getting the details done, is I'm gonna change the stitch order. So we'll make it smaller. And then we can go ahead and crop it using the crop tool. Uh, you don't necessarily have to, to crop it if it's just a white border that you're not going to sew, but you can to give you an idea of what the size is and the dimensions. And then you can go ahead and resize it. You can make it super small if you wanted to, or you can make it as big as what will fit in your four inch hoop, or if you have a bigger hoop, if you want a bigger four leaf clover, you can adjust those numbers as well so that's really it on the adjustments for this and what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and stitch it out and I'm going to choose the transparent colors the background white and we're done now I, I want the border on the outside so I delete it and then I just click on it with the little needle and then it adds it so it's the last stop so it'll saw all that green uh, the the brighter green first and then the lighter green border last and then you can go ahead and save the JPEG or the PNG image if you want and then export your sewing file whether it's PES or whatever you choose and there you go four leaf clover in roughly 10 minutes I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you have a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day if you like what you saw please subscribe share it with your friends Leave your comments below, I'm Purified, and thanks for watching Burley Cell. So.